Hi everyone, it's Poet Critic back with another video. Today I'm going to start this video by talking about three films that represent sexual relationships. The first film I will be talking about is American Pie, a comedy film which was released in 1991 and set in the United States. This film follows the journey of four high school seniors, Jim Levenstein, Kevin Myers, Oz, and Paul Finch, who are set on a pressured goal to lose their virginities by prom night. The central conflict of this film is that they all struggle to do so. Jim, being the main character, struggles with figuring himself out throughout the film and talking to female characters. Kevin Myers struggles with communicating to his girlfriend that he wants to have sex, even after she denies his various attempts. Paul Finch is sort of the outcast character, whom also struggles to fit in and find someone to have sex with. While this goes on, Oz is falling in love with Heather, whom he joined choir for in an attempt to have sex with her. By the end of the film, Jim ends up having sex with Michelle, whom he takes to prom, while Kevin and Oz end up having sex with their girlfriends. Paul ends up having sex with their friend Stifler's mom. However, at the end of the film, they realize how much unnecessary pressure they put towards themselves to lose their virginities, instead of focusing on how their lives were about to change after graduating high school. The second film I will be talking about is Friends with Benefits, a rom-com film released in 2011 and set in NYC. The main characters in this movie are Jamie Rellis and Dylan Harper, both in their mid-twenties. This film begins with Jamie trying to convince Dylan to take a job offer as an art director in NYC for a year so Jamie can earn a commission. After Dylan accepts, the two quickly become friends and on one special night agree to become friends with benefits and strictly have sex with no strings attached. While this agreement works well for a while, the two quickly begin to develop real feelings for each other. Jamie realizes this first on a trip to LA where Dylan ends up denying feelings for her and convinces himself he doesn't want anything serious with her. Jamie is hurt and the two go their separate ways and stop being friends. By the end of the film, Dylan realizes that he loves Jamie and confesses his feelings. The two end up together. The next film I'll be talking about is a drama film named Call Me By Your Name. This film is set in Northern Italy in 1983, and it involves Elio, a 17-year-old whose father invites Oliver, a grad student, to live with them for the summer and help with his academic paper. Therefore, Elio and Oliver begin to spend more and more time together and eventually develop feelings for each other. They try to ignore their romance, but ultimately admit that they like each other. After their time together is over, Oliver returns to the U.S. where he marries a woman he has dated for years. Two patterns of misrepresentation seen across all three films were the beauty standards of characters as well as the need for coupling. The need for coupling is seen across all three films as all characters end up with a partner. This leads to the toxic misconception that we all need a partner to be happy. Another pattern of misrepresentation seen across all three films is the unrealistic beauty standards of all characters. This is toxic as many viewers can interpret that only unrealistically beautiful people have sexual relationships. One pattern of unhealthy relationships seen across all three films is miscommunication in relationships. This also occurs in American Pie when Kevin fails to communicate and realizes that his girlfriend Vicky does not wish to have sex with him but is instead concerned about his feelings towards her, as well as their future. This also occurs in Friends with Benefits as Jamie and Dylan fail to communicate to one another that they are developing real feelings and should be more than just friends. This again also occurs in Call Me By Your Name as we see how badly Elio and Oliver communicate with each other, since Oliver has a whole secret relationship that Elio doesn't even find out about until the end. 
However, this is often seen in many films and TV shows as miscommunication in relationships creates drama which entices viewers to watch more. An article about unhealthy relationship talks about how miscommunication is harmful in relationships and doesn't allow both partners to be happy. And it is important to set healthy boundaries and learn how to deal with relationship conflict together in order to resolve issues when they arise. Another article talks about what a healthy relationship does look like, which includes setting boundaries, having communication, building trust, and most importantly, establishing consent. I would edit the film American Pie to make it less toxic. The plot of this storyline could just change into a coming of age film instead of solely focusing on sex. The film could end with characters finding themselves while enjoying their senior year of high school and planning their lives after graduation. I would be interested in having a unit that goes over how Latinos are depicted in the media, since I'm curious to know more about what roles Latinos are prominently assigned in movies and TV shows in Hollywood. We could focus on some actors in the media such as Jenny Ortega and Xochitl Gomez. I think it would be interesting to learn more about their representation and portrayal.